Liar, written by Freddie Mercury, appears on the first Queen album. It is complex musically with remarkably impactful lyrics. They are as penetrating and emotionally challenging as anything he has ever written. The context behind the lyrics is deeply disturbing. The song, I think, speaks to realities that are seldom spoken of, and as such, I will proceed cautiously. The song begins, I have sinned, dear father, father, I have sinned. Try and help me, father, won't you let me in? Here we find the first person protagonist making a confession of an unnamed sin. But let us start with the characters. Firstly, please remember that we should not presume at all that the song is autobiographical. The I in the song could be anyone. He is the main character in the song, what is commonly called the protagonist. The secondary person is the one who is named father. This is unlikely to be the protagonist's literal father, their parent, because the context is the language of sinning and of confession. The context is hence religion, and here a confession is made either to God or to a priest. This is probably a Roman Catholic or possibly Anglican context. Freddie Mercury, of course, came from a Zoroastrian family. He did, however, attend both Anglican and Roman Catholic schools and would have been well aware of the confessional. Again, I must stress that this does not mean that Liar is autobiographical in nature where Mercury is necessarily talking about something that happened to him. After the protagonist confesses, the reaction of the father should be to forgive, but instead a single word is shouted. Liar! It is incomprehensible to suggest that God yells liar at the penitent. The logical conclusion is that the father referred to is a priest and not God. Why would a priest suggest that someone confessing to them is lying? Indeed, why are confessions often disbelieved by not only priests, but parents, teachers, friends, and society in general? The answer is simply because of who else is also implicated in the confession. Victims of abuse often harbor personal guilt as though somehow they are to blame for the abuser's actions. In a religious context, this then calls on the need to find forgiveness so that they can be absolved from their supposed sin. In the song, they are confronted with another accusation. They are lying. Why? Because their confession implicates the abuser. So the protagonist confesses his sin. Note the plaintive and almost hesitant manner in which Mercury delivers his vocal asking for forgiveness. But the response is not forgiveness, rather it is brutal in the extreme. When he continues by asking, please will you direct me in the right way, the request is not even considered, rather we hear the single repeated accusation delivered in anger. Liar! 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 But is there further lyrical evidence in the song for this interpretation? The answer is Absolutely, yes, there is, and plenty of it. Firstly, the twice-repeated chorus has two variations, which are quite instructive, but the final line remains constant. Since the protagonist is accused of lying when he confesses, he asks why the person referred to as you doesn't leave him alone. That is to say, how can you say I am lying when you keep on abusing me? If you're going to say I am lying, then leave me alone. Secondly, the second chorus contains an inversion that implies that as far as the protagonist is concerned, it is everyone else that is actually lying or being deceptive. Liar! So although he is accused of lying, he is actually telling the truth. Number three, we now come to a key passage in the song. Listen to these words. I have sailed the seas from Mars to Mercury. I am drunk to a liar.
Let's look at these phrases. I have sailed the seas means to be well traveled on the one hand, but more specifically in the context of the song, it is a metaphor that means to participate in something and understand it well. From Mars to Mercury, obviously not referring to flying between the actual planets, but rather what these planets may represent, probably in astrological terms. I quote, Mars is about initiative, sexual drive and passion. In relationships, Mars is the planet that governs our primal sexual instincts, what we bring to a relationship and how we go after what we want. And then we have Mercury. Mercury is the planet that rules our rational mind, our capacity to collect and sort out information and to pass it on to others. So the protagonist in the song is telling us that he knows everything about sexual drives and motivations and he understands it well enough to tell people about it. And then we have the line, I have drunk the wine time after time. This is a reference to the most significant liturgy in Catholicism, namely the Mass or Communion. When the protagonist says he has drunk the wine time after time, this stands as an accusation against the father who took his confession and called him a liar. What follows is a bridge or an interlude where the protagonist changes gears and makes a completely independent commitment. Each line is interspersed with the phrase, all day long. Mama, I'm going to be your slave. Mama, I'm going to try behave. I'm going to serve you till your dying day. I'm going to keep you till your dying day. I'm gonna kneel down by your side and pray, and pray. It is a religious commitment to the woman that he calls Mama, probably his literal mother. Why? Because this is the only person that he trusts, the one who will always keep him safe. The outro has lyrics that perhaps speak of an unfortunate reality. Liar, liar, they never ever let you win. Liar, they bring you down before you begin. Now let me tell you this. You will only win after you have died, meaning that the truth may only come out once you are dead. Liar is a song that refers to the fact that victims of abuse are surrounded by a culture of silence. I quote from an article entitled, It's time to break the culture of silence around abuse. Secrecy, denial and shame became the tools to silence children and young people who had been abused. When someone discloses that they have been abused, we must listen. And this is exactly what Freddie Mercury says in the song Liar. Listen! Thanks for watching and listening. Please help those that need it. Peace always and stay safe.